What's up everyone? Today I'm making a video just about environment variables. The reason I'm doing this is because in almost every video I make, you'll see me use environment variables in some way. So this would be useful to refer back to a quick refresher if you need to. Because basically what I'm going to show you is how to set them, how to use them in Python, in a Python script. And then also, because I'm such a big fan of virtual environments as well, how to use them with a virtual environment so you don't have to reset, well, re-set the variables every single time you activate your virtual environment. So a quick recap, a virtual environment, not a virtual environment, an environment variable, if you have it just in your terminal, would look something like this. So export API key equals 123. That is now a environment variable, great. And you can also unset it with the same name, done. But let's quickly look in Python, you gonna interact with environment variables in this way. So if I say API key equals to OS environ. And here, quick point, if I use a square brackets, this means this variable has to be set. So I obviously just unset this variable. If I try to run this script now, it's gonna break. It's like, where's my environment variable? So now if I set this environment variable again, it's gonna be happy. And also we can print that out just to show that it's all good. And it prints out the exact one we just set. So quickly, you can actually see how important environment variables can be. Just from the specific one I used, API key, say that got leaked or someone got access to your code base, now they have access to this confidential information. Either it's your username or it's your password, and that really sucks basically. So that's one of the very, very big reasons we use it. And then also it's a, a flexibility type thing. So now if we wanted to give this script or let someone else use this script, they wouldn't have to go hard code the API key into the code and like make another commit. It's such a headache. It's super bad for like versatility and flexibility. So instead you can do it with the environment variable. And if your friend is now using your script and their API key is actually four, five, six, run the script. Now it's four, five, six in the code. And that's awesome. And this becomes quite a big thing when you are also developing in different environments. Say you have a database URL as your environment variable, which is super common, and uh, not API key. And now, say we are doing testing on our local machine, you'd want to use a different database string than you would if you have this in production. But now, instead of having to go physically change it in the code and it's some database string for testing or some database string for production, you just have it as that environment variable and you can automate those things and it's a lot smoother, it's a lot quicker. So now, the one thing I wanna show quickly is, say we have a, I'm gonna remove this quickly. You can also use environment variables for almost like settings. So say we have an environment variable which isn't actually required to work. So an API key, you need that. It's probably almost certain that it's make or break that your program is gonna run. But say we have something like a timeout for requests. You can give it a, you can give it a default. So this is basically just a dictionary. So normal dictionary Python work, if you have a square bracket, it has to be there. If you use get, dot get, you can give it a default. So now we've decided to instead give it a default and even though we haven't set anything in our terminal it's going to print out 10 and that's all happy and great now something really interesting and this is going to play into the uh, the virtual environments and the reason why i'm going to talk about virtual environments say i close this terminal open it up again so this is a fresh terminal with a fresh session and the thing with environment variables is they are ephemeral, they kind of go away after the session dies or that given session ends because you're only setting it in this specific terminal. So now if I run this again, 
it's going to complain about the API key. And then I have to export API key again. And you know, that's an absolute headache that um, you don't want to do every single time. So let me quickly create a virtual environment because I want to show you how this plays into that. So this is a completely fresh virtual environment. And the thing is, again, this has its own um, environment variables. It has its own session and everything. I don't even think this would register for the API key. Okay, no, that did. But say now, okay, we kill the environment variable, I mean kill the environment, we kill the terminal. Again, we don't have that API key. Now this is a pro tip in that what you can do instead of having to set environment variables every single time, if you're using virtual environments, if you go into the, if you use any text editor you have, you open the environment name, bin activate, and you scroll right to the bottom, you can export environment variables this way. And that means every time you activate that session, I mean activate that environment, you have your API key. Now if we deactivate, API key is still there, but if we had to kill the terminal, it is gone again. It's gone, but if we activate our virtual environment, we got our API key again. So let me just quickly show you what that looked like again. It was the exact same commands we ran in in our terminal just manually, but now it's in the script for activating our virtual environment. So it's gonna happen every single time we start up the that virtual environment. And that's also where we install all our requirements. And you'll see me, I also speak about this in every single video, it's virtual environments, environment variables, and just how useful those are together. All right, so I hope that was a, a quick little overview. So again, like I said, we have to set an environment variables is use export. If you want to unset it, you use the, the unset command and you use the environment variable you, name you use. If you want to do print it out in the terminal, you do that. If you want to access them in your Python script, you're going to use import OS. The hard brackets, the square brackets, I mean, makes it basically interprets as you have to have that environment variable set, otherwise it's going to break. Using the environ.get is basically a dictionary interaction because environ is a dictionary, but in this case, you can set a, a default and then your program will still run even if you haven't manually set yourself. And then the other pro pro tip is setting those environment variables that you're gonna be using every time with a given virtual environment in the activate file. And that means it's gonna save you from doing it over and over and over. And it seems easy to do it manually right now when there's only one or two, but if you have 10, you don't wanna do that every single time you wanna work on your project. So I hope you guys found that beneficial and don't forget to like, subscribe, and also throw any comments down below. And don't forget, I've got my free guide for top mistakes that Django and Python beginners often often make that they spend so much time on and it wastes so much time. The link's down below so get that while it's still available. And also I'll see you in the next one.